All right, so here we are. We left off. We had finished our pie chart. I kind of recolored everything to make me happy. And now I'm going to click on the chart and just kind of move it. You just double click and kind of drag it over. Not because you have to, but just because you want to make space for the next chart you're going to make. And you know what else I'm going to do? I'm going to save it because I don't want to have to remake that pie chart. Mm -mm. All right, control S or the little disk icon right up here. Now we've got that done. Now we need to make a frequency bar chart and I can make it of either graph. It doesn't matter. I'll make, I think I'll make it of the same graph just to keep consistency here. Now this time I'm going to highlight the words color and frequency. You don't have to, but um, it, it just makes it, you'll see what happens. Hold on. So I'm going to click on the column. So I go to insert, go to column right there, that one, 2D column. And there it is. And the reason I highlighted frequency was so it would give me this title up here. That was <laughs> seriously my reason for doing it. So this is a frequency bar chart of candy color. I'm, I'm just that lazy. <laughs> if you didn't highlight on it, it's okay. Here, I'll show you what happens. If you don't highlight on it, go to insert, click there. You just don't have it. So then you're stuck going to the layout tab and inserting a chart title. Click on chart title above chart. There you go. Yeah, I know. I'm kind of lazy like that. <laughs> All right. We don't want this legend over here. So you can click on it and you can just press delete or you can go up here to legend and say none because there's just no point in having that legend. All right. This is the frequencies over here and it's not altogether pleasant that it's going not going to zero. That's kind of bad. So we should probably change that, don't you think? Now, if your graph shows zero, then that's cool. I mean, but one of the basic things you learn in whichever unit it is that that vertical axes, you sort of want them to go to zero because as it is now, it looks like purple was double orange. But that's not really the case. Purple wasn't double orange. All right. So you, you kind of click over here on the left and right click. Oops, hey, come here. Click. There we go. Right click. You kind of fiddle with it. Ba basically, there's an axis here you're trying to click on. And you want to get format axis. You want to right click and format the axis. Do, do, do. All right, now we want to say what our minimum is. I'm going to fix that minimum at zero. All right, let's see what happens if I say close. Actually, let me go down here to the next thing. I'm just going to click on something else. There we go. Now I can see what it's looking like. Ah, see, 0, 10, 20, 30, 40. That's fine. That's more fair because as it was, the purple bar is no longer double. So I'm going to click close. So let me show you what it looked like before. So before, look how huge this is. It makes it seem like the difference is so much bigger. But now, look at that. That's much more fair. That's much more what was actually happening in my bag of candy. All right. And again, I'm not too fond of the fact that they're all blue. I mean, that just kind of, you know, ugh. so you could click on them and go to format. Actually, things design. There it is. And you could fiddle around with them, make them all orange, make them all green, whatever. But why not click twice uh -huh, and make individual bars, whatever color you want, right? So if you click, see how the little blue dots are only around that one bar. I go up to the paint bucket and I can pick whatever color I want. Go to the right click, next guy. I'm going to make him purple. Eh, I like that purple better. Green is already set. White, meh. There's no good white for me, but I'm going to do kind of a gray thing and see what happens. And then red. I'm going to go to my paint bucket. Make it red. Cool. Um, it's also not fabulous that there's no lines around these guys. So if I click, see how all of them are highlighted now? See how like everyone has got those little blue dots. So if I right click, oh, and I think, let me, let me find it again. Yeah, it's format data series. Hold on. I'll do it again. Right click format data series. You want to go to border color and click solid line, say, and then tell it like, I want a black solid line. And you can even pick style. You can say how thick you want it. Like I want a really thick line, for example, or something like that. Then close. And there you go. You got a frequency bar chart. All done. I'm going to move it off. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to save. Yes, indeed. Make it so the graphs don't overlap there.